I think one at a time you want to attack your cat. Control. Strike this here, place here. Making sure our partner feels the power on the hand here and then feels the power here. So, striking here, here. Notice this hand is always up in front, here. Of course you want to hit here. But in training, we need someone to train with. Kill the arm and move in. Attack here and when they feel the pressure, turn and hit. Pull my bones, lift the hand up, take it out, striking, pecs out in. Bring the elbows in, relax the stance, stand up, hang the shoulder and the back, power to the blade, grab the fist, strike back, bung the back round, release the hand out. So it's all about nudging and bustling, taking little movements, maintaining your force, maintaining your power, and nudging with it and moving. Sam Kung Pit Kill. Extend. Strike to the temple. Go around. 45. Poke. What you're trying to do is to pivot your hip and catch. Catch the hand on impact. I notice I catch up. So as he goes, he twice and a catch. Notice the hand, the shape, the direction, and all your thought and power is going to the tip of the trident. Folding in, turn the hip and the body to open, and catch in. Turn, let the weight of the trident turn, and the heaviness of it drop around your elbow, and again catch at the end. Hook on the arm, cover the elbow, catch on in, place the hand here. You know, again, this good strike here, where you cover and move in. This one, you want to make sure that you cut on the pad by pushing the thumb. Turn the waist, turn. Try not to just let the hand go. Make sure you carry your movement in for the next movement. Strike for the knee. Strike for the temple. Extend the staff to the leg. Move and go long. Pay. Mut. Tan. Dao. Yinka. Sambo Pei Tan is about flicking and slicing. Like when you flick. So when you flick and catch, as you pace out, slicing. Like a hot knife through the butter. So slicing, flicking. When you first move, you need to try to create one breath, one hit, one move. So as you go, move arm, one breath, either in or out. Not so much to the hand. As a turn, it grabs, this then pulls and twists. The turning is on the way. When you pay, when you move, when you turn, you notice this is all engaging. It's not just the hand without the base. Don't pull back and let them control your movement. If you move here, then you've got to control and move back. You can kick, you can kick up and move. But then when moving, pull. Try to look a little bit deeper and sometimes watch the whole body movement. One day you may focus looking at the hand technique, then the next day look at the, how the foot moves. And then the next one look how the waist moves. 